Well against the Blues. You know, you said something between periods that I think is worth repeating, and that is the fact that the St. Louis Blues, although really their season has ended here, and they're headed for the playoffs against Buffalo on Tuesday in St. Louis, have given a, an outstanding effort against the Blackhawks here tonight. They've given the Blackhawks all they can handle. The Blues have given a tremendous effort against Chicago on this ice tonight, and they've made a game of it so far, even though the score is 5-2. to two. I think those two rushes by Bigla upset them a little bit, caught them off guard, but outside of that, it would have been a real close game. As a matter of fact, uh, you discount the two Bigla goals, it'll be 3-2. to two. Face off in the St. Louis zone on the draw to the Blues. Wilson has it, retreats behind the Blues net. 16.35 seconds left to play in the season. 5-2 to two in favor of the Blackhawks. Let out by the Blues through center ice, and back comes Russell into the near corner of the Hawks zone. No icing on the play. Poked that by Rekasey into the far corner. Out Rota along the backboard. Checked there by McMillan, and stealing out the loose puck is Talon. Talon, and the Hawks come back three on three. Talon to the blue line, trying to break by. Trying to lead him to the slot to Tegler, deflected away and poked to the far board. Tegler was flying down the slot. Let out the center ice. It's a center line offside against the Blues. You know, in this line, they've got Rekasi and McMillan, and these are two guys that can really do a wrecking job on somebody in the, in the corners. They are both very, very strong players, and both of them, by the way, are originally members of the New York Ranger system. Rekasi going out to the California Golden Seals, McMillan going directly in a trade to St. Louis. Face off inside the Blues' blue line, and Russell from center ice, dumping it deep behind the net, taken now by Hess. Pass leads it for Patey, and Patey skates it out of the right wing. He's out to his blue line on the far board to center ice. And the puck is dumped into the hot zone, and it's too late. It got there too late to Rekasi, and it's another offside at the blue line of Chicago against the Blues. Patey has 12 goals on the season. He played last year uh, with the California Golden Seals, and before that, the year before, with the Salt Lake City team, that is the farm team of the Golden Seals. And Patey uh, was very upset when traded to St. Louis since he has... Uh, fell his way in. He was traded for Wayne Merrick. Face off at center ice, the draw to Talon. Leads it on the right wing over the blue line. It is taken there by Irvin, and he gives to Unger. Unger still in his own zone. Leads a long lead to Butler out at center ice. To the center line. Left wing lead off the near board into the Hawks zone. Grabbed by Russell. Russell out to center ice. Left wing lead to Ruda at the blue line, and he couldn't hold it. It's off of his skates, and Butler comes back to Unger at the center line of the Hawks blue line. And Unger continues to carry, winding his shot, deflected in front, and pipped away by Talon as it deflects his way on the near side of the hawk net. And Talon leads it out to Rota. Rota to the blue line to Degla. Degla back to Rota, deflected away from him off the near board. Rota, but he turned around, shot off the near board, and a save by Johnston, rebound to Moby. Skates it into the far corner. His shot is broken up, and it's out to center ice, and Butler poked away by Talon, but Butler comes back for it. Leads to Unger to the Hawk blue line. Unger moving in on left wing is well checked by Russell and taken into the near board. And the puck thrown back out to center ice and taken by Smith. Smith to the blue line. Irvin right wing lead to Butler and the long shot deflected a save by Esposito. A rebound and another save by Esposito as he beat Irvin twice. And the Hawks break out three on two. To the blue line, Carl finding slot down and a save by Johnston and we have a penalty coming up against the Blues. And the whistle blows, it'll be a hook, and the Blackhawks will move to power play hockey. The Blackhawks have a full set of 22 individual 4x6 color pictures of all current Blackhawk hockey players, all in one package, including Tommy Ivan and Billy Ray, all for only $3.50. These pictures sell for 25 cents each when ordered separately. So to order what you want, send your request to Chicago Blackhawk Publicity Department, 1800 West Madison Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60. 612. Please include 50 cents for postage and for handling. Two minutes for hawking on Rick Smith, the defenseman who came over from the WHA to play with St. Louis. So Smith goes in and the Blackhawks will have a power play advantage, a one-man advantage, starting at 1440 of the third period. Blackhawks lead it by three goals. The score is five to two. It's Chicago Blackhawk Hockey on WMAQ 670 Chicago. Pat Sheridan, Roy Pettit has the play-by-play. -play. Ivan Boulderev will be on the face-off for Chicago. Here's the drop of the puck. Smith gone for hooking at 520. Power play hockey for Chicago. Good ice position for the Blackhawks. Face-off will be to the left of Eddie Johnston. And the draw to Boulderev. Back to Martin on the near board. And Martin to the near point and Bill White. Bill White back to Martin on the near board and back to the Bill White, but the pass was overlaid. And out to center ice and Redmond. Now Redman leads to Martin outside the blue line, brings it out over. He's at the near point. Martin along the near board, skating it deep. 
puts it back to the blue line. Here's Redmond with a long shot that's wide to the left side behind the net. And Martin overskates it and is grabbed and cleared over the glass on the near side and up into the crowd. Five to two to score. The Blackhawks now in a power play situation. Stan Makita comes out now skating across the ice and so does Red Berenson, the two captains of these two teams who decided to have a little tip at the tail end of the second period. It's all over now, and it's really, as I remarked at the time, unusual because Makita seldom fights, Lady Bing Trophy winner. Berenson's very peaceful, too. From the faceoff, Bill White up at the near point, along the near board to Martin. Martin centers, comes all the way through to the far point, right into the play, shot, and a save by Johnston, and Johnston covers on the puck. Let's pause for station identification. This is WMAQ Chicago. That's the place to be for Blackhawk hockey. Faceoff will be to the right of Eddie Johnson, the goalie for the St. Louis Blues. They try to use Johnson in their pressure games. On the faceoff, Redmond just inside the blue line. Gives to Dennis Hall on the far board. Dennis Hall, wide shot, shot, and a save. Rebound for Bolderab, another save by Johnson. Rebound into the far corner and Bolderab off the far board. Bolderab skating it back into the far corner. Bolderab along the backboard. Throws it around the near corner to Bill White at the near point. Gives to Martin on the near board. Martin skating it toward the blue line. Now he drops it to the far point off the far board. And Redmond. Redmond back to the near point and Bill White. Bill White winding. Shot, shot, save, rebound. Another save and Johnston covers again. Boulder Rev certainly had an opportunity there. He's right in front of the goalie. Had his stick, his stick slightly tied up in front of the goalie. I think it was McMillan who tied his stick up slightly. And McMillan, as he skates over to the bench, gets congratulations from Rick Wilson. He kind of tapped him with his stick as he was skating off because if Bolderev would have had all of his stick on that shot against Johnson, he was about two feet in front of him, he would have had a goal for himself. It was a great opportunity for Ivan to come through with number 29. Nikita on the faceoff, and his opposition is paid. He developed it just in the draw of an air corner, and Wilson checked into the board hard by Coral. And the loose puck is picked up, and again, down over the glass, on the near side, and up into the seat. 50 seconds left on the penalty to Smith of St. Louis. 13-30 left in the game. Now well, Makita will be on the faceoff again for the Blackhawks, and uh, he'll have on left wing Chico Mackey taking a turn in the ice. On right wing, it's going to be Coral. And the draw into the near corner. Makita pops at it. It goes up a deflection behind the net and stolen away by Barkley Plager. Led to McMillan off the far board. They're out to center ice. McMillan to the center line. Checked from the rear by Mackey. McMillan carries over the Hawk blue line and now drops it. And deflected back to Patey. Patey coming on in front and poked away by Russell. A beautiful defensive play by Russell. And Mackey comes back to the blue line. Right wing lead off the near board. And Carl dropping it to the blue line. Tried to hit Makita. And Patey intercepts and gives to McMillan. McMillan back to the center line. To the Hawk blue line. Popped away from him by Talon. Out to center ice and Mackey. Led to the near side at the center line, and Russell is on it for Chicago. 12 seconds left on the St. Louis penalty as Russell dumps it to the far corner, rebounds to the side of the net. And Barkley Plager into the far corner, checked by Mackey. Now Makita off the far board, puts it back into the far corner, but on the backboard, and tripped up and put down was Carl. No penalty called. And the penalty now to St. Louis is over. Carl has it in the far corner, and he kicks it along the backboard. Makita settles it out, deflected into the crease, and Johnston holds on. And Carl and Barkley Plager have a few sticks raised in the far corner, but that's it. How many of you Chicago Blackhawk fans have ever heard of Muldoon's curse? That's the hex Pete Muldoon put on the Hawks when he was fired as coach back in 1927. Angered by his dismissal, Muldoon and told the Hawks' top brass that they'd never win another NHL pennant. And sure enough, it took the Blackhawks exactly 40 years to shake Muldoon's curse and finish in first place during the 66-67 season. And when you're trying to shake your thirst, reach for a hand. Hands is a beer that stays cool, crisp and clear, because it's the beer from the land of sky blue waters. Well, I was talking about my favorite refreshment. I missed what was happening on the ice, Lloyd. Could you refresh me? Well, Barkley Plager wanted to take on Cliff Carl and Cliff very wisely used his head, did not in get involved with Plager. And then as Plager was headed toward the bench, Bill Russell played the role of policeman and came over and stared Plager down. And the officials once again had to get between Russell and Plager, but that's as far as it went. Face off to the left of Eddie Johnston. The penalty box is empty. And the draw into the slot. Hooked to the far board by Wilson and picked up by Wilson. Down the far board, out the center of ice. Over the center line, checked by Redman. Over the hot blue line, Wilson with a backhander and a save by Esposito. Tips it to the near board. Popped up into the air to the side of the net and behind the net. Taken by Redman. Redman checked by Unger. Throws it off the near board to Carl. And Carl dumps it out the center of ice and takes a shot from Wilson at the same time. That's center of ice. Unger with the puck. Deflected by Bill White and picked up by Wilson. He has to retreat inside his blue line to the far board. Now Unger off the far board. 12 minutes left in this game. 5-2 to two in favor of the Blackhawks. 
Off the near board, it's Sutter Rice, taken by Irvin, poked away by Coral over the blue line, but intercepted by Smith. Smith to Unger, Unger leading ahead over the blue line, intended for Butler, and Butler was put down by Johnny Marks, and he is gone for two. Well, Marks heads for the penalty box now, and the Blackhawks will be killing a penalty. They have a 5-2 to two lead, and they want dearly to hold on to that three-goal lead. They don't want to be pressed anymore. St. Louis comes on with their power play. It ranks over the season-long statistics as third worst in the league. You have to wonder about that with players like Derek Sanderson and Gary Younger on the team who can give you plenty of firepower. And naturally, I forgot to mention another guy who has 42 goals this year, Chuck Lefley, who also has plenty of firepower. So they should be able to score pretty well for you. And Berenson, of course, who is an excellent playmaker and has one of the most wicked backhand shots in all of hockey. Uh, Dick Redmond is skating over to the Blackhawk bench now. Makita's going to be on the faceoff. Along with Berenson and the draw through the slot to the Hawk backboard in the far corner and Bill White. Can't clear. Makita tries. Can't do it. Picked up by Lefley to the far board. Back to the blue line and Affleck. Into the far corner. Now to the far point. And here's Affleck with a shot and a save by Esposito. The puck is in the crease and under the Chicago goaltender as the whistle blows. I don't think Esposito knew where it was. And I think Dale Talon believed that, too, because Talon came in and he fell on the puck. It was under Esposito's legs, and Esposito was looking back like he was saying to himself, hey, where is that thing? Did it go in? Did it get past the uh, red line? And then uh, Talon came in and fell on top of Esposito's legs and feet and uh, fell on top of the puck as well. Face off to the left of Esposito, draw into the far corner, grabbed by Talon, and Talon's pass comes right back to him, and on the second effort, he clears up the point off the point man at the far point. 135 left on the penalty to Johnny Marks. 11-19 left to play in the game. 5-2 Chicago Affleck. Power play. Center ice lead. Right wing lead to Berenson. Over the blue line. Berenson coming into the side of the net. Drops it back into the slot. And his tip back to the blue line. Let him drop. Tip in. Deflected wide to the right side as Lefley almost had a tip in. Now the puck along the backboard. Lefley in the far corner. Bringing it along the near board. Dropping it back to Affleck at the far point. And dropped again to Lefley. Lefley in into the slot. Deflected away by Martin from Berenson. Now Berenson along the backboard. Wanting to lead it out. He has it right out through the crease. Grabbed by Pitt Mark. So heavy pressure on the part of the St. Louis Blues. Trying to pick up a power play goal. They trail by three. 50 seconds left in the penalty to Marks. As Affleck dumps it back into the hot zone. Off the far corner. Taken by Dennis Hull behind the net. Hull into the near corner, along the near board to Martin. Martin back to Hull, and Hull moving the center right to the blue line, taking the slap shot, trying to beat Affleck, carries into the far corner. He centers it, but Unger is there. And Unger picks it up and skates it out to his blue line, to the center line, to the hot blue line, Gary Unger. Now he drops it on the right wing, and picked up there by Plot. Poked away nicely by Magnuson, and grabbed by Talon, and Talon clears the length of the ice. 20 seconds left on the Chicago penalty. Unger behind the St. Louis net, coming out of the left side. Power play continuing for the Blues. From the center line, faking his Unger, but he can't bring it over the blue line. His team would have been way offside. Led to the far board, just inside the blue line, and Makita pokes it away from McMillan out to center ice. And the shot by Hess deflected into the far corner, and now the penalty to Marks is over. And the puck deep in the hot zone to the backboard. Led back to the blue line, and away from everybody, it slides onto the stick of Eddie Johnston. His own man puts the shot on goal the length of the ice. Nine minutes and 32 seconds left to play. The play broken up at the blue line by Sheehan. Gets by one. Sheehan leading in front. And Moby with a shot and a goal! as he stole the puck just inside the blue line, moved it in the slot, saw Mulvey breaking down right wing, hit him perfectly. Mulvey deep Johnston down and put it by him, and the Blackhawks have a four-goal lead on the 11th goal of the year by Grant Mulvey. Grant had seven last year. I was a little bit worried for Sheehan, who was only five foot uh, nine after that goal because Mulvey gave him a hug that I thought almost broke his back. From the faceoff, Sheehan from the center line dumps it in deep. Stopped behind the net by Johnston. Poked into the far corner. And back to the backboard. Hess pokes it away from Sheehan behind the net. Into the near corner, and Mulvey digs for it. Takes a heavy collision from Wilson. Off the near point as Russell. Now Sheehan still on the near board as Mulvey trying to dig for it. And to the blue line, poked away by Degla and picked up by Russell to the center line. And a long shot turned away by Johnston. 
Into the near corner of the St. Louis zone and Tegla digging forward along with Wilson. 